Hello, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Viewer discretion is warned, I'm going to be doing uh, some taxidermy in this video, which includes skinning, and then the video after that will be uh, putting it on a farm, but I'll say that in the next video. So, you've been warned, it's a little series I'm going to be doing. I'll show the allotment in another video. I do, I do need to sort it out, it's a bit weedy. So, this pigeon, I'm afraid, was found... Um, in someone's garden, it had, uh, it was just dead, it died from unknown, looks like natural causes, I don't know. I have got one that I've already previously skinned beforehand, because I want to try and put them together in some sort of mount. I've done some blackbirds back there, I've got a squirrel there, I've got various things in here, even a fox head. So I'm going to stick you guys there. Uh, I should get this right. I had it right at one point. That goes the kettle. I did have this like all set up and ready to go, but it's not having it. I have it prepped up already, but it doesn't seem to. Like that, yeah. So I'm going to put my gloves on. That's crucial. I've already done the uh, initial parting of the feathers so you can see the brisket known as the breastbone. So, one. I'm going to swap my camera, don't die. If it dies, I'm going to have to freeze them and then do another video after. I've got some more battery cam batteries on the camera. Seems good. Right, so this might be how much, how much time I've got? Twenty six minutes. Should be enough time to just do the skinning part. So So I've got my gloves on. So I'm going to do the initial cut at the side. This side. Down here, try and keep it straight. Tweezers, there we are. Then we're going to get a bit of, get a bit of gunk and just gently, gently, gently peel back if you can. Right down to the bum. You can see that. I did the other one first because the other one would have been a bit more gory and I don't really want to be demonetised. Because the other one, the head was badly smashed in. So the, its head was crushed basically. I do, I do have a pigeon skull for that one. That, that's a wood pigeon skull. Um, that was supposed to be a taxidermy thing but I went wrong and I didn't end up doing it right. I actually found another bird that had a badly damaged body and I ended up transferring the head. You see him just gently Peeling it back. Against the body. This one actually is quite thin. So I don't know if it was just malnutrition or it's just 
and have a lot of food. Very skinny, because the other one I've done was very fat. It was fatty, quite fat, full of fat, no problems. So, so as you can see, I've, I've um, peeled it back from the breast bone, from the breast tissue and the brisket, brisket area, so I can get down to the legs. I don't know how to time lapse, but I'll figure it one day, and then I might do more and just time lapse the skinny part. But yeah, and now I should, in theory, just get this. If you see this, this is the leg, and there's a thin bit of tissue, and I should be able to get that tissue to release that leg and that's done it and that's freed that leg out of it so then what I'm going to do is there's a socket here where the leg bone is like their knee joint is just Detach it. Can you see there? I've just done it there. That's where the joint is. So I can just pop it there, and then I can just gently peel back carefully, not cutting the skin. So then I need to do it on the other side. I need to peel back and just turn it around. And I mean, it's got a lot of broken bone and the wings feel fine so it's not had a fall or a fight or anything. There's no sh shot marks so no one shot it. So, right, no one. And sometimes you can just. And I'll be using borax to once I've cleaned it, clean this, these uh, these two pigeons. I'll be using borax as a preservative to if anything, um, anything that is still there, the borax will dry it out and kill any bugs. I'm gonna do that trick again. And just find that socket joint. You can see, if you can see it, just where I've got my scalpel. And if you don't subscribe, I'll wear that sharp pointy thing at you. I ain't heard a crafter. <laughs> Love watching Nerdy Crafter. And I will, I will be doing a video on. I've ordered. The Nerdy Crafter um, craft kit, crap kit, or oh, she says it. So I stay tuned to that because I will be doing a video on that. Oh, I've just nicked the skin there. So now I've got that. I've just slightly nicked the outside skin where the, that leg was, but. It'll, it'll stitch up. Just push it back a bit. There we go. And then you can get your fingers there. You can get your fingers. So now, turn we on. Batteries are good. We can go. So now I can go down to the rump area and gently, gently skin a little bit like that. Everybody's watching the England versus Italy match and I'm skinning dead pictures. 
which I'm not bothered. That's uh, not the. I'm not much of a football fanatic. I've watched the odd game here and there, but I'm just. Yeah, you'll watch, we'll lose. I'm sorry, but we'll probably lose. Oh, they could prove me wrong like they did against Germany. Right, so... Get that out. So I want to try and... Skin as much as I can up there. I don't want to tear anything. I had a bit of an accident with the other one. Where the base of it's come off the skin and then the tails are just tail feathers are just hanging on. Feathers are in the way. It's, uh, at least it's defrosted because the other one wasn't fully defrosted and it was quite, yeah, quite tricky. To do it while it was half frozen and stuff. I did put them in a, a bowl of hot water to like to like um, you know to make it a bit easier for myself because I found them at different stages. The other one in the uh, corner over there was a roadkill victim. Hence why it's not got much of a head anymore. Cause I was going to grab it before someone ran over the head, and then um, yeah, someone ran over the ran over it before I got to it. Never mind. So um, getting the bone. That's the bone in the tail, I think. Oh, cut through the main bit, which is... Now there will be a bit of guts coming out. No. Never mind. Oh, that's one size. Try not to ruin in the skin for the where the tail feathers are because I don't want what happened last time with the other one that I did before the video. Okay. Because I can always cut the extra fat off afterwards. Yeah. Coming off nicely. Got past the bump. And this is a very, very, very skinny pigeon. So I'll, I'll show you this one. It's quite, I've got some of the fat, but that one was quite fatty. And this is just. Yeah. Mm, the body on that's very um, very good, but the body on this is very thin. 
more nutrition. So it's obviously lacked food somewhere. I don't like these guys. They're everywhere. These uh what are they? Feral pigeons in our area or known as the rock dove or something in other parts of the world but these are just pigeons that are actually these birds are a pest they, they get everywhere we've got them trying to nest under our solar panel on our roof and they're just annoying I'm just trying to be very gentle not to rip the skin as much I mean the other one no problem I was like getting up there no problem but this one is so skinny um, it's quite hard to do so. so I'm just gonna gently go back up to the top here to give it a bit more release from this top bit so I get a better chance of not ripping any more skin off not making more holes should I say right. the uh, camera I'm doing it kind of like with the get against the bone rather not too close to the skin because you you don't want that. If you do it too close to the skin, you're more likely to get holes, which you don't want. Oh God. Right, so now what I usually do is, now I've got this, I need to find the wing joint, the top of the wing. It's important to like do it evenly, otherwise you just, you know, you're just gonna have it. It's just gonna be hard if you don't do it evenly. It's tight on one end and loose on the other, and it's you're more likely gonna tear holes in it. Right, that's the wing there. That's where the wing is. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. That's interesting. It seems to be uh, uh, it seems to be loose already, but I don't know. So I'm going to try and do the other, get the other side. 
Definitely been eating because you can see all the uh, food in the crop. So all the green bird seed that it's eaten before it died. Right. I've got the wing there. You can see my fingers around it wiggling. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'll do the inverting of the wings and stuff off camera. That takes a long time. It's basically, um, I've done it with this guy. Um, you basically skin and invert the wings and the feet the same. And it'll take too long to show that. But if you wanted me to do a video, on how to invert. I do have another pigeon at home that I can show that off. Show you that one. Right, it's nearly free. It's nearly free. I'm just gonna. Bone there. Well, I had it by hand. That's just the trucks near the Nestle goods area. Hey, okay. So that's and basically we just peel back and check the sharpness. That's not sharp anymore. It's lost edge so it's important to change your blades out because they do get dull and they will not cut very well so Sounds gross, doesn't it? So, there's not much, there's no bullet holes, it's not been shot at, it just looks very skinny compared to this, which has got a lot of meat and that's very thin. So I think it's just died from, so it's not been able to eat properly, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it, what happened to it. I mean, all this tremor could be from it falling from the height. So, right, now we're at the skull. Remember to do from the Bone, base of the bone. If you don't want to tear your head, keep it against as close as you can. And gently pull. Remember to alternate. Like that. I'm just cutting that off to make it a bit easier to just try and keep the eyelids. I 
eyelid as close as possible so you keep your eyelid well, that's pretty important you need to keep your eyelids like that so nearly done with the head to say whether, what's wrong with it because there's no bullet holes or anything and it seems alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip the head off and basically invert it a bit more and clean that skull out for prepping for mounting and I'll use the body for the um, for the uh, mounts, and so now I just need to invert the wings, like on the other one. So you just push it through, push it through, and skin it out. Um, there's quite a few videos out there that you could probably watch. But if you do want me to sh show you how to invert a wing, I'll show you. But um, I'm running out of time on the camera, so the next I'm going to invert the wings and the legs, clean, clean the skull up, and you basically you take all this meat out here and take out the eyes and clean it up, and then you wash it all off, and then use your borax to clean it all. Um, I watched the Art of Taxidermy, and he uses a different method of preserving, but I've been watching a lot of his videos and how to do the birds. So. Um, I'm just try. It's trial and error, and we'll see you in part two. Hope you're not grossed out, but I did warn you at the beginning. So stay tuned, and I'll uh, show you a bit more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you in the next part of this video. Bye for now. Oh, it won't turn off. Sorry, guys. Right, it's getting a bit dark guys, so what I'm going to do, I know I've, I'm going to cut what I said out at the end of, and put this on the end of the video I've just done of skinning, so I'm going to wash these now, and then another day I will, I will um, prep them, I'll keep the bodies and freeze them, so I've got the guide. I don't know if you can see that very well because the ball's high. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a bit of floor cleaner. And this will just um this will just clean any gum coffin and blood and um, anything nasty will get washed off. Trick this one in there. And I'll just let them and then I need to like rinse them off with clear water, but I'll do that in a sec. And then once I've cleaned them and dried them a bit, then I'll freeze them. Um, and then I'll come back and deform them and get the bodies ready. And you'll see, I'll get one of the bodies ready and then once they've defrosted I'll show you what they'll look like. But yeah, um, this is just pre-prepping before mounting them on the farm, putting them on the farm. So I've cleared the skull out, it's all clean. This one didn't have a skull, because the skull got mashed. But I've got a spare skull for that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to rinse them off now. And then I'm going to put them in the, go home, put them in the freezer, and then 
have an early night I think because I'm up early tomorrow and uh, do these guys don't know whether to do them tomorrow night after my PM lesson or Wednesday I might do them on Wednesday because that would be better so don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh, we'll see you in part two of the pigeon taxidermy project I did realize the third bird that I was gonna do is here so the other pigeon I've got in the freezer is already skinned so here yeah, I'll have to show you how to do invert wings on something else if I get anything else so alright that's me I'll see you in the next one bye for now